Now, if I were a cane, where would I be? A cane? A cane. Deckard oh, cane. Uh, this is actually Sully's house. Tis. It's horrifically ugly. Open She's got a chicken. Let me knock on the door. I don't know if she's home. She might actually... Oh, there she is. Nice to see you again, Missy Lara. Won't you come in? That's right. She likes us. Aha. Do you see what I see? A child, a child, or something. No, something, a carrot. Something. Oh. Oh, a carrot. Do you see I, a carrot? I see it now. Do you really? You know, yeah. <laughs> I just want to make sure. Yeah, I see it's over there on the table. It's not I was this. also. <laughs> Go ahead. What is that? That's like a. <laughs> it's a beaker of science. Science looks more like voodoo or something. Well, yeah, I mean, it would Mixed make sense. Stuff up, yeah. Mm. She's got a really long bed. Do you see that? <laughs> it is so long. What can you tell me about voodoo? <laughs> what were you about to say? Nothing. Something about long beds. She's got <laughs> okay. a long bed. Sully's That's place it. looks quite cozy and comfortable. She's managed to make a home out of a little old shack. Mm -hmm. An old quick quilt covers Sully's small bed. Small bed? It's small. <laughs> look, hang on. It's 14 feet long. Look at, how, look at that. That is nothing small about that bed. I'm not close enough, really? What a pile. Oh. I'm... I, I don't, I, I don't think you can actually. Oh, fine. Can I have so, this carrot? Just take the carrot. Before taking the carrot, you look at Selly for permission. She nods her she nods her approval. With that, you take the juicy looking. Are, are carrots really juicy? Some of them are. Oh, carrots I aren't. You know. Take science beaker. Some fresh carrots. Let's talk to Selly. Um, all right, I'll do it manually. <laughs> I thought she was just going to say something. I want to thank you for bringing, my, bringing back my healing necklace. I've been feeling kind of poorly lately. Oh, yes. What else does she have to say? I knows you've never been here before, but you like a good story? Let me tell you an old tale around these parts. Oh, God. Oh, man. A long time ago, right before the Civil War, this place was bustling sugarcane plantation. But during the war, this place was ruined and the owners killed. They had a daughter, Sarah, who was away at school during all the trouble. And folks around here said they hid the family jewels somewhere on this here property for her to find. She never did, though. Not long afterward, the poor girl... She died? But the family tree. It said she hadn't passed away. Oh. Well, maybe they didn't update it. They say Sarah haunts the old graveyard like she's still looking for the missing treasure. Of course, it's just a story. Folks around here like to believe it, but I ain't seen nothing except... Oh, nah, it wasn't anything. Hmm. I'm sure. It'd be... I'd be mighty careful walking around out here if I was you, Missy Lara. Is that a threat? I just wanted the carrot. You seem like a nice, quiet girl, not at all like Missy Lillian. That's true. She is obnoxious. I'm kind of confused why you came all the way out here for Missy Lillian's family gathering. As far as I know, you're just a stranger here. I have a bad feeling tonight. You best watch out for yourself. Okay, yourself. can you tell me maybe more? It's been nice chatting, but I'm getting kind of tired. Why don't you go on back to the big house? You'd probably have to ask her something specific if you really Let's want to. Let's ask about Lillian, because they're really tight, you know. Poor Mr. Lillian, that girl's had her troubles. I don't want to talk too much, but her daddy's suicide hit the poor little thing hard. And then to have her mama care more about her liquor than her own daughter. Oh, it was sad, all right. Well, that's sad. It is sad. Maybe we should tell her about the murders. Most of Ms. Ethel's trouble started when her husband killed herself about 17 years ago. Lordy, that was a messy business. After that, Miss Ethel sort of fell apart and started on her drinking. Tell about murder. Actually, <laughs> oh, wow. Um, great, Sully. Thank you. Hmm. 
Uh, maybe That's specific. Her. What can you tell me about food? Oh, child, I'm sure you're just seeing things. This place will do that to a person. Well, what That's about Gertie? about ghosts. Oh, it's just a swamp playing the tricks on you, I'm sure. Yeah, it was a mistake. Twice. Mm. Let's see, is there anything in my inventory I can ask about? <laughs> How about these crackers? I have six of them. And there's a very specific number. What do you want? <laughs> uh, stand? Up, up is up, what I would... Up now. So, there has said to be a ghost. In mm -hmm. the graveyard. Perhaps we should check. Okay, we don't want none of that. I'm leaving that screen. <laughs> it looks cool. Oh, yeah, it looks so great. I think it looked potentially dangerous. <laughs> Reminds me of the bridge in Hugo 2. Well, Which bridge? The, yeah, the oh. bridge is impossible to friggin' cross without losing your matches in the water. Oh, right, right, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! I kept trying to get her to throw the matches, and she wouldn't. She's like, no, you yeah. can't throw. I'm like, what the fuck? Nah, useless Penelope, man. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. All right, I'm going to check the, uh... I'm just going to sneak right into the graveyard and see if there's a ghost. With all this storm I'm playing around, it might just be a ghost here. Ball lightning or something. Yeah. This is an old family graveyard be behind the little chapel. Stood among the various family graves and monuments, you notice two large tombs. Oh! There she is. Yeah. Oh. That looks like a wisp of mist from the bayou. That does. That looks like a wisp of... Look, she's calling out the to me. The mist is pointing at you, Laura. Well, that was fun. Bye. Oh, jeez. Scared the shit out of me, too, when I was little. Well, I mean, yeah, that that's pretty freaking freaky, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, it is. Okay, I took the carrot, right? <laughs> you did. Okay, I was gonna say, can't do much without the carrot. So, this is the horse Blaze. It's the Colonel's horse. You can try to pet it. The Colonel's ba horse. Yes. So you can pet it. As you stroke Blaze's velvety soft nose, his eyes open wide and his ears twitch uncontrollably. Oh, man. So he's, like, really riled up. But we're going to open the gate anyway. What? Because we're smart like that. Ah! Oh! That's death right there. You're a dead ringer, Laura. I'll restore. But mm -hmm. what we can do is give him the carrot. And now we've made a friend. You hold the carrot in front of Blaze's nose, who begins to cautiously sniff at it. He then gently takes it into his mouth and eats it. He looks at you and whinnies softly, as in, as if in friendship. I am in friendship with you, Laura. I think there's one thing you can kiss in this game, and it's the horse. Oh! Yeah. You plant a big kiss on Blaze's nose. He looks at you curiously. Well, so there is a point to the kissing thing. I was asking you. You're like, no, you can't kiss anything. But Well, that I mean, that didn't get us any points or anything. <laughs> I, okay, well, I guess there is at least one reason for the kissing mechanic to be in here. That's great. So you can kiss the horse, yeah. So you can kiss the horse. I guess people do that, right? They kiss horses? Yeah, oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, totally. I have never done this. <laughs> have you, you know been around a horse <laughs> what you, you say it as if it's like this thing it's impossible have you, uh, have you been around a horse you? you know been around a horse <laughs> i don't know what i'm asking kissing horses have and you? uh you know no no i haven't i mean i've been around horses sure but i've never felt the urge to just lay one on it not even on the nose no, I mean, it feels weird and soft, but... I give my parrot kisses. Well... She hates it. She doesn't hate it. Sometimes she does. Well, that's true. Sometimes she hates everything, though. All right, I... Kiss owl. <laughs> hey, there's Ethel oh, there's again. there's Ethel. Poking her behind the tree, like... <laughs> hey, Ethel. Still drunk. Hey, Ethel. <laughs> 
Of course, no. nothing could possibly happen to her. Yeah, she's only extremely susceptible to bad things happening out in the middle of the friggin' bayou at night. Mm -hmm. That's all. Eh, you know. She doesn't so know about smart. the murders, so it's fine. She would if she'd have listened. Let's see if there's anybody in the in the little playhouse today. Well, not today. It all happens in the same day, but right now I meant. <laughs> mm hmm You were yep. inside a leaky old playhouse. Uh oh. Creepy old playhouse. Spoopy. Too spoopy for me. Uh, you know, I know that's supposed to be a doll over there, right? But. Yeah, those are dolls. <laughs> it just looks like an actual baby, considering the graphics. Lillian, what are you doing in here? Huh? What are you doing here, Lara? I still don't have a nose. What are you doing here? I'm kind of busy right now. I have to finish the story. What? Ugh. Hush, Laura. You're interrupting us. So serious. This is not good. I think she's actually kind of gone crackers. Yep, she's lost it. Let's look at her. This is a bit odd. Your friend seems to be reading a book to those old dolls. Hmm. Yeah. Your mom's drunk? It would appear that Lillian is more interested in reading a book to some old dolls than talking to you. It would probably be best to leave her alone right now. Isn't she like your best friend or something? Yes. So... Maybe this is a common occurrence and she just kind of knows about it. It's like, well, Lillian's talking to dolls again <laughs> at night. We've Ignoring. not been in this room. Uh, We oh. went, we walked. Oh, yeah, there's a creepy guy. Actually, kind of looked like King Graham walking by that time. Maybe but, it is. <laughs> crossover. But we did walk through here once when uh, the, we were chasing the two dudes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're but right. We, we didn't look at anything. Cautiously, you peek inside the open door of the cabinet. Not surprisingly, part of the colonel's weapons collection is housed there. Within the cabinet, you see an Australian boomerang, a steel cutlass, a pearl-handed dagger, and a mace, and an antique crossbow. Can you remember all that? Sure you can. Oh, uh, you got uh, it. Shuriken? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh my god, Jeeves. You haven't cleaned this up yet? I can't you believe suck. that. Yeah, usually Jeeves is a... Uh... Ask Jeeves about cleaning. I forgot that even existed. I know, right? Turn into ask.com. Such a silly, silly thing. Oh, it did? Yeah. I didn't know. Pretty sure. I mean, nobody uses that either, but you know. <laughs> no. Okay, Gloria is still... Good news! Gloria is still alive. Oh. I know yeah, everyone it's... was concerned about her. It's, uh, it's good. That clock went off, though, so I feel like somebody somebody's has bit, bit the dust here. Oh, the cognac is gone. Hmm. Probably Ethel took it. Yeah, probably. Oh, let's it's drinking see. all of it. Uh, what? A parrot doesn't care. Huh. You give a cracker. She's after me. Rock! So afraid. <laughs> so the parrot says different things on uh, different times when you feed him a cracker. Which is always a cool dynamic. So if you recall, the mom said something about Sir Lancelot here. Yeah. <laughs> you know I'm saving, right? Yeah. Okay. Oil a uh, knight. Which part of the armor would you like to oil? Oil, um, right? Cod right? piece. Oil cod piece, yes. Actually, <laughs> I accidentally oiled the right arm. The, like, the correct <laughs> arm. That's not actually what I meant to do. Well. Oil left arm. Okay. This is a good idea. Oh, yeah. Right down the middle. Cleaved in two. That is That's super probably... graphic. It really is. That's super graphic. Okay. 
I'll do it correctly this time. Oil, um, right arm. Okay, <laughs> let's not do that again. Wait, no. Oil, right hand? <clears throat> um, oil. What are we trying to do here? I don't remember. How about just empty oil can on night? <laughs> Might as well. Here, you carefully open the armor's visor and peek inside. You see a small metal valve handle hanging by a hook inside the armor's helmet. You grab the valve handle. You also see an old yellowed note pasted into the inside of the helmet. They Curious. had post-it notes? What? They had post-it notes back then? Yeah. Post-it cool. notes. Curious about the old note, you read it. It says, Our dearest daughter, Sarah, we knew you would know to look in the armor, except she didn't look in the armor. <laughs> Because it's still there. This war is terrible. We fear our end is near. In case you're not the only one to find this note, we won't give too much away. Use this valve handle with your favorite water nymph. Don't ever forget. We love you very much. Love forever, Papa and Mama. So that's really sad. Mamas and Papas always leaving notes. I need to. I need to. I need to spy on the Colonel. Actually, it's important. At his bequest. At his bequest. He'd yes. probably like it. He probably would. Oh yeah, Laura. <laughs> Got a little I voyeuristic mean, uh a little voyeuristic <laughs> personality to him, huh? Well, this house basically hey, just solidifies it. that. I mean, considering how many hallways are full of holes. I found the cognac. Oh, that's good. Fifi took it. Hello, Fifi. Uh, there's also you. uh a little bit of something something on her bed over there, I see. What are you seeing on her bed? At the foot of her bed. Every time I see that, I seriously think it's a whip. It's not a whip. That's the shadow. I know it's the shadow, but I'm <laughs> tell it's a cat of nine tails. She's doing some kinky stuff up in here. <laughs> oh, man. I thought he was going up to kiss him. <laughs> like, now let's make out. Get over here, big daddy. I could feel the sexual tension, too. I could see your eyes on me all night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Go yeah, ahead. that didn't quite go the way I expected. And now he's sleeping. Oh, pff, I, <laughs> that fight was just such a, such a row there. It I'm so exhausted. Wiped him out. 